CloudStack is open source infrastructure as a service. It's basically the toolkit that you need to create your own private or public cloud or to help you set up a hybrid cloud. Um, it is sort of uh, you know similar to things like Eucalyptus and OpenStack. It allows you to set up your own compute on top of whatever hypervisor you're using, whether that's uh, vSphere and uh, VMware, whether that's KVM or whether that's Zen. Um, and it gives you the tools to set up elastic compute. Um, and it's important because, you know, we're getting to an age where managing individual servers, well, that was 10, 15 years ago, and then it was virtualization and managing hosts. Now we're getting to a point where people need to manage hundreds of VMs and hundreds and hundreds of things. Um, and we need to be able to give people uh, virtual resources that they can manage themselves, uh, that they can manage over the web and that they don't have to worry about waiting for IT to order a server, rack the server, get the network set up, all that good stuff. Uh, the fact that it's open is also extremely important because, you know, Amazon is great. Amazon Web Services, you know, is fantastic if you want to do certain things and you trust another third party to hold all of your data and you want to put your computing future in the hands of a third party. A lot of companies don't want to do that. And they also don't want to put their computing future in the hands of proprietary vendors who, okay, they'll let you have your stuff in a private network, but it's still in a proprietary toolkit under proprietary code. Uh, that they can change the licensing and, and billing at any time, or features, whatever. This gives, just like Linux did years and years ago, this gives people further control over their computing destiny. Basically, it gives people control. It's a sense of community. I think community for me is the most inspiring thing. Watching companies, watching people from different companies come together and work on projects where, you know, the companies may not, as entities, you know, like each other, but the people get to work on projects together and they get to go forward and create awesome things that are open to anybody. Um, and to me, that's very inspiring because I like the people I've met in the industry over the past 16 years. And just because they switch corporate tags or whatever doesn't mean that I'm not their friend and I don't want to work with them anymore. Uh, so the fact that I get to keep working with people even when they may switch companies and even be a competitor is great. There's two things that I'm noticing. It's rapid advancement of open source in cloud. Um, that's one. Uh, the other one is legal developments. You know, we are seeing so many you know, companies battling it out, and we've gotten some lucky results this year. You know, we were very lucky in Oracle versus Google that the court decided rightly that, that the APIs are not, in fact, patentable and all of that. We, that could have gone the other way, and we could have been in a very bad situation. Uh, we got very unlucky so far with the uh, Samsung and Apple case. Uh, I'm hoping that will be overturned and that the court will see that the jury didn't seem to be paying a whole lot of attention but it emphasizes that it's not just the technology, the legal implications of the technology we're working with and the money that's involved continues to heavily influence the industry and there's a lot of work that needs to be done outside all the technical work that we're doing that we really need to pay attention to. Mm -hmm.